I think in support of Exaro's purpose, really which we have defined as powering better lives in Africa and beyond, we have a deep appreciation of the transformative power of cross-sector partnerships to create a world that is more prosperous, inclusive, sustainable, and resilient. Exaro does believe that strong investment is needed now to help drive a brighter future for the country and its people. To this end, we note that the private sector is recognized as a critical stakeholder and partner in South Africa's economic development, a provider of income, of income jobs, goods, and services to enhance people's lives and help them escape poverty. We at Exaro know better than most the vital role that partnerships with government and other key stakeholders can play in achieving transformation in South Africa's socio-economic landscape. Our 20 billion investment between 2018 and 2023 is a testament to our purpose. It is about co-creating solutions with government to complex social challenges. This investment is about pooling resources and capabilities amongst business and government. We as Exaro need to complement state capabilities in overcoming socio-economic challenges that confront our country. We see that as our role. Without a doubt, government will always be the primary driver of socio-economic development. However, we should not overestimate the state's capabilities, even under the best of circumstances. Government can achieve more and at better value by co-creating and partnering with the private sector and other social partners. The reality is that South Africa's socio-economic challenges will not and in foreseeable future be solved by government alone. The private sector's role in encouraging South Africa's growth and economic development can also not be overest overstated. We are a chief agent in creating employment, providing funds, building competitiveness, driving innovation, all essential instruments for growth. As Exaro, we see our investment towards the president's investment drive as an enabler for a multiplier effect in the economy, which generates direct and indirect employment, both consumptions, and fosters further development for our nation. But the need for private sector involvement is not only about money. It is also about the skills and competencies the private sector brings for the sustainable development. Its ability to fast track innovation, eliminate inefficiencies, scale rapidly and provide sustainable interventions. These capabilities make the private sector a critical partner in solving developmental challenges and creating economic opportunities. South Africa has to participate and influence the direction of the fourth industrial revolution so that we can find solutions to the socio-economic challenges of our, that our country faces. In support of youth development in the fourth industrial revolution, as was earlier highlighted, a collaborative economic enabler led by business, government, and labor, Exaro and an organization called Sadiko implemented the Youth Exponential Development Program known as YDX. Some 3,000 unemployed youth who expressed interest in technology and entrepreneurship applied to participate in the program, reflecting the need for economic opportunities. Sadiko conducted a situational analysis of the population and economic environment in order to get a clear sense of the number of technological, technology cooperatives that would be needed, as well as the community and local government buy-in to the project. Exaro invested 40 million into the program over a 12-month period to provide digital technology training to 400 youth in Lepelale and Tulamela municipalities in Limpopo 
and Emalasheni, Victor Kanye, Emma Kazeni, Steve Chwete, Govan Beke, municipalities in Pumalanga. In May 2019, 34 participants engaged in Train the Trainer program, which touched on digital technology concepts, including telecommunications and broadcasting, as well as the fourth industrial revolution concepts such as Internet of Things, artificial intelligence, robotics, 3D printing, nanotechnology, autonomous vehicles, cryptocurrency, and cybersecurity. Those initial participants have in turn begun training an additional 366 local youth in digital skills, such as website and mobile application development, cell phone and computer repairs, digital migration, airtime sales, and e-finance services, e-financial services. In addition to training, participants were also assigned to various technology cooperatives that would require mentor, that receive mentorship and support for one year. Under Sadiko's guidance, it is intended that these cooperatives grow into fully fledged businesses. Youth from Exaro whose communities are now introduced in digital technology with immediately imp implementable skills that enable them to be economically active within the digital technology industry. With Exaro's support for the first year of the project, Sadiko's aim is to equip, e equip each trainer to manage between 10 to 20 technology cooperatives over a period of two years aligned to the YES initiative. South African President Cyril Ramaphosa has outlined his ambition to acquire 100 billion from the domestic and global investor market to help boost the South African economy. Exaro's objective to drive a brighter future for the country aligns with the president's focus. And we have, as computers of this objective, invested this 20 billion to grow our product pipeline and in doing so deliver economic growth opportunities for the country and its rapidly growing demand for secure energy and power. We at Exaro stand here today as a proud partner of government, our communities, and the country. The investments we make into the country's socioeconomic development are about moving beyond our own company's results and more about creating shared value and responsibility in meeting the country's development agendas in terms of the economy and job creation, among other crucial social issues. And so, as I always say to my colleagues, we have a responsibility as people of this country to understand that ours is about planting those seeds of those trees that will not have the benefit to see them grow tall, of those trees that will not have the benefit to eat of the fruits, but ours is to ensure that the next generation get those benefits. That is our role, that is our responsibility. It's not to ourselves, it's to that next generation. In as much as there were men and women many years ago who planted the seeds so that we may have the opportunity to, to enjoy our freedom today and its fruits. What will be our legacy? Because we will be judged by that legacy.